Hello my friends, welcome to my channel and I hope you're all fine. In today's video, I'm gonna be with you with a very, very impressive video. I've just made the world's strongest and biggest supercapacitor. This is 2.1 volts and uh, 2000 farads hybrid supercapacitor. Now, in this video, I will test the supercapacitor. I will show you its power, its capacity, its capability. And after that, I will show you step by step. I will show you how you can make these kinds of hybrid supercapacitor. This is very powerful, very big and very strong supercapacitor. Uh, why? Uh, first of all, I will test the supercapacitor and after that I will show you how you can make it because in some, on some videos, uh, some people told me that uh, you fooled people, these are fake video, you don't show us the inside the, the supercapacitor. So, in order to show you, these videos are not uh, fake, these are completely real. By the way, there is no fake video on my channel and I'll show you everything step by step so some of my videos are, are, are a little bit uh, long but i don't want to cut the videos and i try to show you everything step by step so uh, and uh, before i made a video i uh, make my material my supercapacitor my battery whatever it is and i will test it many many times and after that i uh, decided to make a video so first of all i made my supercapacitor before make the video uh, I tested many many times and now I will show you uh, and now I am making the video and I will show you the capacity the capability of the supercapacitor and after that I will just uh, break down my supercapacitor and I will show you how you can make these kinds of supercapacitor okay first of all let's measure the voltage initial voltage inside it uh, I got my multimeter here just set it to uh, volt mode And as you see, there is 0 0.1817 volts inside uh, this initial volt is 0 0.17 volt. Now I will charge it as it is uh, 2000 farads. I will charge this supercapacitor um, with 5 amp about 14 minutes. After 14 minutes, this um, supercapacitor is going to be fully charged. Well, when you look at the uh, appearance of the supercapacitor, some people uh, could think that this is not a supercapacitor, it's a lead acid battery, but it's not a lead acid battery, it's a supercapacitor, it's a hybrid supercapacitor. When I open up the capacitor, I will show you, I will prove that it's not a battery, it's a supercapacitor. Now, let's charge um, our supercapacitor. Okay, my friends, I have my charger here, I will just set it to uh, 5 amp. And I will charge my supercapacitor about uh, 14 minutes before charge it. Let's um, show you inside it. It's not a professional supercapacitor or lead acid battery, just homemade uh, supercapacitor. Now I will charge it. Okay. Um, the positive and the negative. Okay. Okay, my friends, we fully charged our supercapacitor. Now, after charging, let's measure the voltage again inside it. As you see, we have 2.0504 uh, volt inside it. Now, first of all, let's short circuit our supercapacitor. I have a copper wire here and I will just short circuit it. Oh, ah, as you see, it's very strong supercapacitor burn the copper wire immediately again wow ah just one more time oh as you see it's a very strong supercapacitor now let's try to uh, light this uh, bulb it is 12 volt very um, strong big uh, bulb now i will try to light it with my uh, super capacitor okay as you see it can light it and lastly i have my dc motor here now i will try to run this dc motor with my super capacitor and 
I will just Can you see that? How fast it run? Our super capacitor can run this DC motor very very fast. Uh, our super capacitor can run this DC motor for about um, a couple of hours. It's a very strong, very big capacity uh, super capacitor. You see it's still running. Just again. Okay, let's measure the voltage, the main voltage inside it after uh, doing these all. <clears throat> okay, my friends, as you see, we have still 1.98, 97 volt inside it because it's very strong um, super capacitor. Now I will. Um, open up broken down the super capacitor and i will show you and tell you step by step how you can make these kinds of super capacitor okay i'm just going to uh, wear my hand gloves because as an electrolyte i've just used sulfuric acid and as a current collector i used uh, lead so lead is very poisoning and sulfuric acid is very corrosive to your skin so i'm going to use my self-protection material just I will pull out our super capacitor and just open it up. Okay, my friends, um, as a separator, I've just used a uh, cleaning fabric. You see these kinds of cleaning fabric. I just used um, cleaning fabric as a separator. Okay, my friends, the first and just You see that? This is the um, negative electrode and um, this is the um, positive electrode. And again, uh, the negative one. And the positive one and um, the negative one. I have uh, five pieces of current collector. Three of them is uh, negative current collector and two of them is um, positive current collector as a current collector as i said you need to use a lead sheet i have just lead sheet here you need to cut uh, your lead sheets uh, in this shape and as an active material why this is not a lead acid battery because the active material is uh, different in the uh, lead acid battery on the positive electrode i've just used um, lead dioxide 
mix of lead dioxide and put it some uh, graphite powder inside it to increase the conductivity of our supercapacitor because this is a hybrid supercapacitor on the positive electrode we need to use a metal oxide as a metal oxide i've just used, used a lead dioxide and um, graphite powder um, on the negative electrode this is the critical point on the negative electrode i've just used um, this active material can you see that this is a uh, graphite powder and activated carbon mixed with uh, sodium silicate uh, let's say 10 grams of activated carbon 10 grams of ultra fine graphite powder and two or three grams of sodium silicate and mix it very 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 well and you will get this active material very conductive paint on the um, negative electrode i've just used uh, this active material in lead acid battery on the negative electrode it used a sponge form of lead so uh, it's a battery but is this is a hybrid supercapacitor on the positive electrode we covered with uh, this active material lead dioxide and graphite mixing of them and on the negative electrode we use just a graphite and activated carbon so when we combine this uh, you need to use a separator um, just put a negative and put separator put a positive separator negative positive separative and combine all of them and put it in this kinds of uh, container and fill it with uh, sulfuric acid 30 percent of water-based sulfuric acid you will get your um, hybrid supercapacitor and its capacity is very very high it's about uh, 2000 farad and 2.1 volt it's very beautiful very strong um, hybrid supercapacitor so this is the uh, main idea of making a hybrid supercapacitor i hope you understand the all basics and all informations uh, from the video we get the end of our video if you have some questions please uh, write me on the uh, under the comment sections i will try to help you uh, by all means and i want you to uh, make your own hybrid supercapacitor but i want to warn you about something my friends if you are going to work with uh, sulfuric acid and uh, lead materials please use always use your uh, personal protection materials because these are um, poisoning and dangerous material to your health so be careful okay we get the end of our video i hope you enjoyed the video my friends if you enjoyed the video please like my video and subscribe my channel take care of yourself see you in the next videos my friends